सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस इज योर सेकेंड टॉपिक द सेकेंड टॉपिक इन न्यूमेरिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज फाइनाइट डिफरेंस अप्रॉक्सीमेशन टू पार्शियल डेरीवेटिव ओके सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डन फाइनाइट डिफरेंस मेथड इन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन राइट and in finite difference method we had derived formulas uh, to find out the derivatives in ordinary differentiation that is we had uh, calculated the value for y dash y double dash y triple dash using that method okay so now we will again use the same method to find out the partial derivatives of first and second order okay so look at this uh, there uh, here we have a region capital r it is a rectangular region as you can uh, see it in the figure okay and we have divided this region into rectangular network of sides delta x on this side here the these sides are delta x this is division is delta x this difference and on this side it is delta y look fine so this is x axis so i have divided this region into sub uh, intervals of delta x value that is equal to h and on this side i have divided it into delta y that is equals to k okay and these dividing lines these points where they intersect these are called mesh points for example this point is xy fine so if i move this side to the next point so there is an addition of this difference h right so the next is x plus h this value and y will remain same because for y i am uh, uh, working on this line only right so if i move to this side on the left side so there is a subtraction of h i am moving toward this origin so it is x minus h on this side there is addition on this side there is subtraction right y will remain same similarly if i move uh, upward in this direction there is addition of k in y and if i move to this downward direction there is subtraction of k in this y fine now in this uh, on this line which is parallel to this y axis the x will remain same okay so if i have to give numbers to these values let this a uh, point is having number i comma j i denotes for x j denotes for y so if i move to this side there is i minus 1 because i am going to this number there is a subtraction and if i move to this side there is addition of one number and this j will remain same because there is no change in y now if i move upward or downward in upward direction there is addition of 1 in this j number this is number for y and this i will be as it is and if i move downward so in this case there is a subtraction of 1 and this i will remain same okay so this is a rectangular mesh we have drawn we have just uh, mentioned some names to the mesh points now come here now in ordinary differential equation you have used your finite difference method and you have written these values that is y dash x is y of x plus h minus y of x over h plus other terms of h similarly you have written the value for y double dash x that was y of x plus h minus twice y of x plus y of x minus h over h square plus other terms of h square so these formulas you have already done in this ordinary differential equation in finite difference method i have to use these formulas now to derive these kind of formulas for this partial differentiation okay so first of all i am going to write down the derivative of this function u u is a function of x and y u here is a function of x and y okay i am going to find out the derivative of this u with respect to x only this mean the y is constant so using this method i am going to write the value that is u of x plus h i am going to take the derivative with respect to x so all the changes will be in x not in y y will remain same so u of x plus h comma y as it is 
minus u of x y over h plus other terms of h. So here I have used this point and this point. These two points I have used to find out the derivative of u with respect to x where u is a function of x and y. I have taken this x y point and I have used this x plus h comma y point. Right? Now if I want to take these two points then the point x y and the point x minus h comma y. If I take if I want to use these two points to write down the derivative, so it will become u of x y minus u of x minus h comma y over h plus other terms of h. So these two formulas are same. I can use either these two points to write down the derivative or these two points to write down the derivative. Now what if I, if I want to write down the derivative using these two points, not this one, this one and this one, this point and this point, these two points are at a distance of 2h. This is h plus this is h, right? So come. Now if I want to write down the same derivative using these two points, so the derivative will be u of x plus h comma y minus u of x minus h comma y, this value minus this value divided by the distance between them, that is 2h plus other terms of h square, right? Now this is the formula to find out the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Now at the place of x and y, if I want to denote it using i and j, so how to write it? Writing u x y as simply u i j, it will become like this. Now this is x plus h, that is it is i plus 1. This is j minus u i minus 1 comma j over 2h plus other terms of h square. And this curly u over curly x can be written u x, that is the derivative of u with respect to x. Uh, look here, this x plus h comma y, we have given it number i plus 1j. This was the name, notation of this point. So the same notation we have written here at the places. Similarly for this one. Okay. Now, as we have find out the value for the first order derivative, similarly we can find out the value for the second order derivative. For the second order derivative, now this is the formula in ODE, I will use the same formula in PDE. It is y of x plus h, so I have written u of this. This is x plus h, the addition, uh, the value, this one. Okay, so this value is corresponding to this one. So I have written it here, u i plus 1 comma j. <laughs> then minus 2 times y of x minus 2 times u i j plus y of x minus h u i minus 1 comma j over h square plus other terms of h square. So this formula, these two formulas we have derived from our uh, method finite difference uh, that we have used in ODE. The same method we have used here to derive the formula of first and second order. Okay. Now similarly we can write down the formulas with uh, when uh, we want to take the derivative of this u with respect to y. At the place of ux I have written uy. Now the addition is not in i but in j because we are not now moving in this direction. Now we are moving it this way. Upward and downward in case of y. So there will be addition and subtraction in j not in i. So according to this, the formula will become at the place of addition in i, there will be addition in j. At the place of subtraction in i, there will be subtraction in j. Uh, the formula, uh, these two formulas are written according to these two formulas. That is, first of all, we have used these two points, then these two points. We can also use this one and this one as we have used in case of x this one and this one. So we can use this for uh, this point and this point also to write down the derivative. Okay. Similarly for the second order derivative, uh, you can compare it. 
द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव हियर इज आय माइनस वन कॉमा जे तो इट इज आय कॉमा जे माइनस वन दिस विल बी एज इट इज एट द प्लेस ऑफ आई प्लस वन हेयर इट विल बी जे प्लस वन एंड नाउ द डिफरेंस इज के इन केस ऑफ वाई द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सेल्स इज के नॉट एच राइट सो हियर इट विल बी के फाइन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंपेयर दिस फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो तो यू कैन कंपेयर इट हेयर आई हैव रिटर्न इट हेयर दैट इज आय प्लस वन जे सो देर इज अडिशन इन आय देर विल बी एडिशन इन जे देर इज अट्रैक्शन इन आय देर विल बी सब्ट्रैक्शन इन जे ओवर हेयर इट इज टू एच हेयर इट इज टू के सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस फार्मूला दिस इज द पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव फार्मूला विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर दिस इज फॉर सेकेंड ऑर्डर दिस इज द पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव फार्मूला विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड दिस इज ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर एंड वी हैव डिराइव ऑल दीज फार्मूलाज using our finite difference method that we have done in ordinary differential equations okay so revise it again thank you